So this right here is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold, and it packs a ton of features, but one in particular though that sets this apart it folds. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is definitely, to me, a head turner and a conversation starter, but it offers so much more. So in this video, I'm going to dive into all of the things that I liked, didn't like, and just my experience as a whole. So with that said, let's talk. And this is Ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma. Now, I saw this at CES last year, and I was highly impressed. So much so that I even featured it in my roundup video. So needless to say, when Lenovo reached out to sponsor a video and send this out, it was a solid yes. Now, the first thing I want to dive into is the design. So this right here is the world's first OLED foldable laptop. It has a 13.3 inch foldable display that has vibrant colors and super deep blacks. And to me, it doesn't attract a ton of fingerprints considering how much you're gonna interact with it. It's wrapped in this beautiful leather finish with a red felt material for the built-in stand. Yes, there is a stand, y'all. We're gonna dive into it. <laughs> the leather for me just gives a sense of security and protection and a premium look. It just makes it feel a lot more sturdy and reliable. And it also has these kind of large rubberized bezels which is good because I do notice they definitely help a lot when I'm holding this in hand so I don't have those accidental touches on screen. Now, in terms of your ports, you have two USB-C ports. And the nice thing is that you can use both of them for charging or you can use one for data transfer. Also along the side, you'll find a power button and a volume rocker underneath it. And something else that I really like is that it has a five megapixel infrared camera, which also gives you access to Windows Hello so you can have quick access to sign in. But that camera also puts this in a better position for business calls, especially when you're out and about. And on top of that, it has built-in speakers and four built-in mics. And the speakers, the speakers up here are decent. They get fairly loud. They're not really bassy, it's just overall a decent sound. The other thing I really like about this is that it's so compact. So not only can it fit nicely in a backpack, but also within a purse, a messenger bag, or even just a small carrying case. And with its ability to fold, it just makes it so much more travel friendly, especially when you're throwing this inside of a backpack, you can fold it to further protect the display and feel confident with the exterior here that you know you'll be good to go. But before we continue on, if you happen to be new here or even if you have been here, feel free to, you know, check out that subscribe button down below. That way you can continue to get more content from me and you can hit that like button if you feel inclined to. Now, in terms of what you get in the box, of course, you get the laptop. You'll also find a booklet of info, a safety and warranty guide, a 65 watt charger. And with my configuration, I also got a keyboard and a pen to use as well, which we're gonna dive more into a little bit later. Now, like I said, this folds. <laughs> and because it does, this just opens up so many different ways in which you can use this. So one way in particular, which I think I probably use the most is tablet mode. And this for me is like really convenient to handle just, you know, a lot of different everyday type of tasks up here. And I love the fact that even though it's in this, you know, so to speak tablet mode, I still get that full laptop window those experience in a tablet type of setup. I also really like the fact that I can use the built-in kickstand right here, which, you know, does have some resistance. So as I set it up, I can feel confident that it's gonna stay in place. I also found it super handy for when I am out and about that I then have the option to use the keyboard on screen or I can, you know, just turn the keyboard on and put it in front of the screen and use it like that. And it's interesting because, you know, with it being in this type of tablet mode, it's kind of bigger than, you know, your typical tablet. So there's a slight adjustment there, but a welcomed one. Now the other mode that you can, ex ooh, I'm getting all types of notifications. And now the other mode that you can explore is book mode. So, you know, you can kind of fold it like so, let me get a good angle, like this, as you would an actual book. And the nice thing is you can pretty much fold this and have it stop securely at just about any angle. But if you put it in this kind of L-shaped method, this is another mode that I really like because this is super handy for the split screen modes that you have built within here. So you can put apps side by side or you can put one at the top and another at the bottom. I really like this setup for like my business calls as it does let me have a full experience for the call with an ample amount of space to take notes or handle other tasks related to the call or the conference. And you might even find yourself reading an ebook or two up here because with you being able to hold it like a book, I can say it is a fairly decent experience to be able to enjoy a book up here as well.
And then the other mode, I guess you could kind of consider it like your laptop mode. And that's when you have it in this configuration like this. You take your keyboard, you turn it on, and then you let it magnetically plop onto the screen here. And now you can use it like an actual laptop. And it's nice that you do have a little trackpad on the keyboard because I did notice, especially in being able to use it like a laptop, I found that I naturally did want to go down here and use the trackpad. So it's nice that there's a trackpad actually there instead of me having to reprogram my mind that, you know, there isn't one there. But the keyboard overall feels good for typing. Like, although it's small, it doesn't feel like my fingers are compact and, you know, constantly bumping into each other when I'm typing. And I really love the fact that the keyboard is super thin and has a little holder over here for the stylus so that I'm able to keep the entire setup together and, you know, lessen the risk of losing something, which is very possible. <laughs> oh, and the other cool thing, with it being in here, you can actually close the laptop with the keyboard inside. And it is pretty much gapless when you do that. And then you just toss your stylus right in there and boom, we got our entire setup, y'all. This is, oh, this is nice. Now with this stylus here, it does charge via USB-C. I found it most useful for myself when it came to marking up documents or signing them or getting a more precise touch on screen. And I also like using it for editing my photos. But overall, the reference to the battery is decent. You can get an estimate of what you're looking at battery-wise by just adjusting the slider in the bottom right within the battery management section. I like to keep mine to that mid or low setting just so I can get the best battery life possible. And in doing that, I was able to handle, you know, a few of my basic work tasks for a few hours up here before I had to charge it. I also found that apps were fairly responsive for me. You know, there weren't a lot of hangups or freezing. Just overall, a really smooth, enjoyable experience. Now, of course, we gotta talk price. And this right here starts at $3,000. So what, in essence, makes this worth buying? For me, one of the key selling things for this is this versatility. You get a laptop and tablet experience in one, like truly. Because I know sometimes with tablets and their expandability, it can start to feel like a laptop. But at the end of the day, when you look at that software, it's still a tablet version of it. It's not the full desktop experience. Whereas with this, you can switch between that laptop or tablet feel, but still enjoy the full desktop Windows operating system on this. And you got the stylus and the keyboard so that you can kind of configure this to be more of what you need when you need it. It's really like the best of both worlds in one. Like I found myself using this in ways that I didn't originally consider or fully process the usefulness of. It could definitely be an ideal companion for travel, especially for like business meetings and different events like that, because you can adjust the screen to be used in so many different ways that's gonna adapt to the scenario in which you're in. And I really like the fact that Windows 10 allows me to take my office on the go with me, so to speak, which in turn makes working remotely even more accessible and versatile. Plus I found that Windows 10 offers a bunch of built-in features that I really enjoy. That also power my workflow and productivity like focus assist which helps keeps my distractions to a minimum by sending notifications to the action center getting it out of my view and there's so many others that i can name but overall windows 10 coupled with the design of this computer provides a pretty awesome experience this is definitely designed for your ultra mobile users so to speak to offer on-the-go computing but I love that, you know, Lenovo is pushing and testing the lines of innovation here and trying something new and doing it fairly well. Now, of course, I'm gonna link this down below in the description box so that you can check it out on your own. But overall, I gotta say I like it. But that's gonna do it, y'all. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to check out the other videos that I'm throwing on screen right now. You know you're welcome to shamelessly binge watch my content. Just saying. <laughs> but until the next one, y'all, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.